Today, I'm attempting to attend two Champions League matches in 24 hours. Our first match will be in Germany for Dortmund versus Manchester City, where Holland will make his return to Dortmund. 24 hours, two UCL matches, two countries. If just one thing goes wrong, we could miss a flight, a taxi, and the video will end. Once we scan our ticket and enter the first match, the timer will begin. So let's see if we can do it. We are going to two Champions League matches in 24 hours. We're starting in Germany for Manchester City versus Borussia Dortmund. As soon as we walk in that stadium, the 24 hour timer will begin and we have 24 hours to attend two matches. Match two is gonna be in a secret location. You'll have to wait further in the video to see where we head next. And I'm not alone. We have this man right here. What's up everyone? My first ever Champions League match. This is crazy. I'm watching Holland's return to Dortmund. For the first match, we headed to one of the most legendary stadiums to watch a football match. Signal Iduna Park. And whilst recording the intro to this video, we saw the Manchester City bus entering the stadium right next to me. This is Man City. Holland. I see him. I see him. His you blonde hair. I saw his blonde hair. <laughs> no, bro. That, that's crazy. That just happened. Like, City just happened to roll by us. All right. We're off to a good start here. Before we head into the match, we're going to check out all the pregame atmosphere around the stadium, get some predictions. And for this video, we have a special challenge where me and Pajor are going to be competing against each other. Let me tell you how that's going to work. So, while the main challenge is attempting two matches in 24 hours, there's also a side challenge to complete along the way. For every goal that is scored during this video, we will be opening a World Cup sticker pack during the game. After each goal, we'll open the pack immediately, and whoever packs the best football player by the end of the video will win the challenge. It was an absolute madness outside the stadium. Over 80,000 people trying to get in, so before we went into the match, we checked out the official team store. All right, we got the Dortmund team shop. We're probably about, you know, 45 minutes before kickoff with a 24-hour clock began. Rumor has it, though, that if Dortmund wins, Dortmund are offering me a little surprise. Follow me. I don't know. What I've been told is if Dortmund wins, I win this car right here. So, I don't know. I, that's just what I heard. Um, this is it right here. Dortmund win, I take home this car. All right, I'm kidding. That's not actually gonna happen, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Emma the B. Here we go. Touch its nose for good luck. Yo, I need this. Dortmund has SpongeBob merch. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I want this. Wow, that, I, that just blew my mind when I saw that. If you guys don't know, that's gotta be the best cartoon of all time. Finally, before going in, we had to get our match predictions. All right, before this 24 hour madness begins, we need predictions before we can go into the stadium. I am going. 3-1, Borussia Dortmund. Holland is gonna score the long goal for City. No predictions on the Dortmund goals, but I'm going 3-1 Dortmund. Now I'm gonna give you the realistic prediction, which is gonna be 2-1 Man City. Holland will score one, subbed off in the 70th minute. Bellingham gets the one for Borussia Dortmund. That's there what's gonna go. happen. All right, time to head into the stadium. Once we scan our ticket, 24 hour clock begins. and we go. Let's go, let's go. It was then time to enter the stadium where the 24 hour time clock would begin. We're in, boys, take it secure. 24 hour timer is up. It's gonna be a long 24 hours. Before heading to the seats, we had to try some traditional German food in the stadium. You want a glizzy? Hey, yo. That German glizzy. <laughs> we got the glizzy here, cheers. You have to, right? We gotta review the food. <laughs> So good, man. Once we finished, we went straight to our seats where our view was absolutely incredible. I've heard so much over the years about how this stadium was the best in the world to watch a football match, and the atmosphere absolutely lived up to the hype. Bruh. Yo, boys, these are about to be some crazy seats. Let's go. The yellow wall was truly unlike anything I've ever seen before. I have to say, as an American, the only sport that comes close to this atmosphere is college football. But other than that, there's nothing like this in the USA. It's the craziest thing my first year. This is only game one. We had the perfect view for the players walking out, and of course, the Champions League anthem playing. It was then time for kickoff. We had a great view of the match. It was Holland's return to Dortmund, so everyone was expecting him to score. Imagine that went in. Our, our seats put us so close to the action. Players like Foden, Bellingham, Holland, and everyone else right up next to us. At halftime, though, it was nil-nil, and of course, we had to grab a German beer at halftime. Although the stadium was incredible, the match itself was a bit disappointing. The only action was this late penalty. 
Nope. The match then ended nil-nil. Disappointing, but the atmosphere was incredible. It was worth the trip. Disappointing result, but what an environment. I wanted to see the yellow wall go crazy. There's no goals. Let try again. We're doing a pack for every single goal, but we didn't get a goal. Penalty save. I think we deserve one for this game. So let's rip it open. We're each going to get a player. Boom. Oh, I got Bellingham. What? <laughs> Gonzalez. At the match, telling him, I think so far I'm up. Sad result, but absolutely unreal environment here. We're gonna head back to the hotel tonight. Early flight to catch tomorrow to head to match number two. The next morning, we woke up bright and early, ran to the airport, and flew out to our next location, which was Madrid, Spain. I think you got some fans, bro. No, no, this is for you. Really? Look at this. What's going on, everyone? Hi. So all, all the B-Ford fans right here came to meet me at the airport. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Donald's in Spain. Here we go. And I've never seen this before. Oh. Is egg. that an egg? Yeah. I got the most, like, unusual thing on the menu. Tell you what, it's a lot better than McDonald's in the UK, that's for sure. We arrived and went straight to the hotel. We're in the hotel, four hours till kickoff until the timer is complete and we enter our final match. We got the hookup though from a buddy called Madre. We get in the hotel. We gotta see what's in this bag right here, boys. Flag, I'm guessing. Uh, we got the Dortmund scarf last night. We got the Atletico Madrid scarf this time. We're swapping Dortmund. We're swapping Ooh. yellow for some it's red upside down. blue. Oh man, <laughs> that Ooh. looks good. Nice scarf. That looks good. Planned on wearing this, but I guess not. Yo, look at this, boys. Hold up, let's go. Oh, and it's got B4 on the back. No, it doesn't. Yo, Yo let's that is go. Sick. Rate the Atletico Madrid kit down below. I love it. Reminds me of the USA. We got the red, white, and blue. We got the stripes. Also, peep the hotel room views. Um, Not awful, not bad. I got my kit too. Yo, let's 21 go. 21 for my boy Dybala. I know he doesn't play here, but gotta rep his number everywhere. I love it, bro, I love it. It looks good. Thank you, Atletico Madrid, for the hookup. This game's gonna be amazing. Four hours left. Unless something crazy happens, we are going to complete this challenge pretty easily, hopefully. We, we never know what could happen, though. It was in time to head to the stadium early where we were perfectly on time to make these two games in 24 hours. It's a big stadium, man. We're going to two, like, incredible stadiums i feel like in two days this isn't just like two matches this is two incredible champions league matches in 24 hours let's go dude this is actually look at this stadium boys oh man right we have made it to match number two we still have some time on the clock we knew we were going to complete the challenge all the flights went according to plan this stadium looks incredible we have atletico madrid versus Bayer leverkusen both of these teams need a win if they want to make it out of the group i want to see 2-1 yesterday dortmund game i didn't see a goal we saw a penalty saved by Koval, but one is the easy option. I want goals. I predict what I want to see rather than what I think will actually happen. This is going to be a high scoring game. Three, two, Atletico Madrid. For the match, we got to check out and see everything around this stadium. Let's do it. Once at the stadium, we had a few hours before kickoff. So Atletico Madrid themselves invited us to check out their official club museum. Two hours till kickoff. We got the official Atletico Madrid museum. Come on in, let's go. First off, we got to take every single Atletico Madrid kit from 1903 all the way up to this current one right here that I'm wearing. So we're gonna do like, I, I think we just do a quick scroll. Like, let's look at every single one. Look at the Atletico Madrid Spider-Man kit. We gotta check this one out. Not my favorite, but definitely I would say the most unique, right? There are What's so your many favorite jerseys. Kit, I don't know which one specifically. I think maybe the one over up there, but honestly, I think this one's the best one. <laughs> it's got the name on it, a little, so. A little biased, I think, right there. Stadium replica, man. This is actually, I love this, man. Full, not full scale model, obviously. The full, we're literally like underneath the stadium right now, I think. We're literally right there. Apparently, you can get tattoos here, so. I'm getting an Atletico Madrid tattoo right here. Right here. Here we go. Oh my God, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh! Hold on, we're getting a call. One second. Hello? Oh, it's Diego Simeone. Griezmann's hurt tonight. No. You want me in? No. All right, boys. No, it was a prank call. We, no, we gotta go. I, I, I just got called up. I gotta go. I, I we gotta think, go. I, we gotta go. Think. Yeah, before it, right here. Question for you. Yeah, over there. How does it feel making the starting 11 tonight against Bayer Leverkusen? We got uh, Griezmann with an injury tonight, so I'm here to step up. 
Um, what position are you again? We're, we're going to find that out. I, I truly don't know my position, but um, I'm ready to make an impact tonight. Send Athletic Madrid through to the knockout rounds. That's all. No more questions. No, no more, I, no I more questions. More. Sorry. 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 Wow. Yo. All right, boys. We made it to the Athletic Madrid trophy room. Yo. This is awesome. Call, look at this. I just want to give you guys a disclaimer. If you're a Spurs fan, just skip this part of the video, okay? All right. We got to walk through, man. They got uh, This team's got a lot of trophies. Oh, my God. You're Copa glowing. Del Rey. You're glowing. Am I? Come on. You're glowing. Come on. I'm part of the team now, man. I'm making my debut today. We got some women's trophies. Uh, Copa Del Rey. La Liga. Bro, look at these. What is, they, what is that? What is this? Nah, look at this ship. What is this? This can't be a real trophy. And then we also have this. This thing looks like it weighs twice as much as me. That is a massive trophy. With only an hour remaining before the match, it was time to go in. Before though, we spotted the supporters outside the stadium. Right, we got about an hour until kickoff. It is loud out here, man. We got the supporters behind us. They're ready to go in. We gotta catch this, man. Show the people. Oh, this is wild, man. These Atletico Madrid fans don't mess around, man. I wish I knew some of the chants, too, but... We then walked into the match, scanned our ticket, and made it to our seats, which were VIP. In the stadium early, man. I gotta say, Atletico Madrid, I am quite impressed with this stadium. Free food, free drinks, in this incredible view for match number two, Atletico Madrid versus Bayer Leverkusen. This was an incredibly important match as well because each team needed a win to keep their Champions League hopes alive. If both teams true they would be eliminated from the champions league so whichever team would go on to win this match would keep their hopes alive once again we had the best spot to see the players walk out before the match and then things finally kicked off leverkusen scored the first goal to make it one nil and we opened our first pack both of us opened them but neither got a player as good as bellingham so i remained in the lead Madrid then fired back with a goal from Carrasco, and Bayer also scored another directly after from Hudson Adoy, making it 2 1, so we opened two more packs. The players that I packed weren't great, but Pejjor ended up getting Luka Modric to take the lead. Yo! Yo, that's it. Vamos, 2 2! What a goal! Oh my god, what a goal! 2 2, next pack. Pass still in the lead with Modric. Not many players can beat Luka Modric here. We need like a Messi or Ronaldo or something. All right, here we go. Anyone good? Oh. It's blue at least. It is, but it's not better than Modric. Ooh, yeah, that's... No, still in the lead though with Modric. It was in time for the craziest ending to a Champions League match that you will ever see. So here's what happened. The final whistle blew and the score was 2-2. Both teams would be eliminated from the Champions League, but after the final whistle, a VAR review out of nowhere and a penalty awarded. If they scored this penalty, their UCL hopes would remain alive. But instead, this happened. Oh. Save! Header! Run! That, my friends, is one of the craziest endings to a football match I have ever seen in my entire life. The players are just standing. They're absolutely stunned at that result. I mean, craziest ending ever. Wow. Two Champions League matches, 24 hours. First game, nil-nil. But the end to the second game, I'm still in shock, man. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much for coming with me. Pastro behind the camera. Let us know the matches we should go to next. Subscribe for more. Click the video right there. Peace, boys.